Now, if you guys don't remember, in the last episode, we took some land, we got our forces, we pushed back some rebels, and we're ready to go on the defense. We are getting counterattacked. And as just to go over the setup again, we have our three, what I call, battle decks, or decks for short. I do play war game, Red Dragon, very fun game, and I'm just used to calling them decks. But in our first deck, quote unquote, we got our two mobile MG teams. We got a Dingo to help a little bit of light support, anti tank, or anti tank, anti troop, with some anti tank from our AT team. And our second one, we have another AT team and just some some su support divisions or groups. And one MG team and one just regular three man support team. And then in our third battle deck, we got a Weasel for anti tank. An extra tank crew in case these get murdered completely with another fire team and support team super simple pretty easy so let's just get into it now we are defending against the GRM in my opinion the GRM um, are a little more trickier to fight um, personally due to the fact that they have M4s AKs a lot of Russian vehicles uh, they're, they're just kind of all around annoying honestly um, and really pack a punch if you let them but we'll in this one we'll I'll show you how the the fences work what it means when you build them up try to keep it short and sweet hopefully we don't lose too many men in this defense I promised myself I would not try to use the first person mode as much and that I will try to alright so we have our defending forces here looks like we've got Germany so these are the AI that uh, that spawn Now normally there would not be the screen defenses aka sandbags but because I did upgrade them one slot they do spawn with some protection so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn in the first team now I'm gonna send the dingo kind of in the middle here Kind of, uh, you know what? Actually, no, I'll, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. 100%. I'll bring the ding dingo there. I'll move these troops up here, and then I'll move these troops up here. <clears throat> and what we'll do is with one team, we'll set them up on here. We'll set them out, kind of have the MG, whatnot, kind of protect the frontal facing. Then we'll have the, the dingo kind of over here to provide light support. And we'll put these troops um, somewhere on this battle line here. Just get that flanking cover. Um, I did forget about our support teams. So with this support team, we're just going to put them here. Just as some uh, some middle support, really. Alright, first off. I don't know why I just tried to shoot that tree down. But, oh well. So we're going to move this up a little bit. And we'll angle it just a tad bit. And that should be fine there. Um, let's go ahead and unload all of our troops, including the driver, because he is just an extra troop after all. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Oh my lord. Go. Thank you. Alright, now let's get these guys up. And mount you guys here. Frontal facer. He should be shooting. Why aren't you shooting? There you go. And then we'll have these guys up here in this position. Now, I do wish that I could move these troops. <clears throat> and I can't. Which is kind of annoying. Um, but for now, it looks like our guys are holding on this side. Running out of ammo. So, let's go ahead and spread these guys out a little bit more. The MG is doing pretty good up there. Um, let's go ahead and move this dude here. Get some crossing. And then let's move this dude. If I can go move you here so you have better line of sight. And then MG dude needs to be set up right there. There you go. That should be good. The dingo. Obviously, support team's here. Um, ooh, they have. Okay, it looks like they're taking pretty good, pretty good uh, cover of it right now. So I'm going to head. I'm going to go ahead and set up the MG here. That way he can kind of cover both angles. I was going to send him back here as well. So he can also kind of guard that. Then I'll send two over here. 
Wait, yeah, take that back. I'll send one here. And then I'll just space these guys out just a tad bit more. Once I get done healing. Now that I know that they're kind of separating. Where's the AT team? There you are. I thought you guys were the AT team. team. I'll send two troops kind of as like a crossfire here. To shoot across there. Get maximum support. And I'll send this one dude over here. Um, behind this truck just to get some more uh, cover. Now I'm glad I put the MG here because like I said he does get that kind of like angle. Uh, this was Company of Heroes for instance. He kind of has to get the arc. So he can shoot stuff over here and also shoot stuff over here. Which is kind of what I was looking for. Um, we're pretty much mowing them down at this point. You're getting pretty, pretty lit up pretty bad. I'm going to just go ahead and see if I can take out that gunner or the engine, something on it. I lied. I'm going to kill him first. All right, now. Okay. So with that inbound, we're going to take this little cute weasel. Look how cute this is. This is a four-man crew, somehow, someway. Well, it says four, but there's actually three. Okay, that tree just got annihilated. So let's get our tow missile here. Return this bad boy. And where do you? Do not have an angle on him. I kind of want an angle on him. Come on. Come on. Give me the angle. Give me the angle. Oh, I hate how this thing moves. It does not like to turn well. There you are. And let's just open fire. Indestructible fence. That's fine. There you are. Load her back up. Right, while he's doing that, let's go ahead and move our medics up here. Uh, let's move extra tank dudes over here as well. Kind of behind cover. We'll put them behind this truck. Okay. Or you can just, you could tow. That, that's fine. I didn't want to shoot anyway. And then we'll bring our extra MG team kind of up towards the front here. Uh, kind of here, I guess, up on this ridge. Yeah, they can still kind of fire over there for the most part. Um, medic team, we'll put here. Again, that's kind of like a crossfire if they get up close or anything like that. Uh, and the tank dude should be over here just fine and dandy. So we have a pretty defensible position. I think we're going to win this with literal, like, little casualties. Um, if I had to say so myself. Where'd that dude go? Come on. Come on. There you go. So now that I know that they're going to try to be sneaky, I'm going to try to randomly place these dudes around. Um, just kind of around sporadically no real order or movement um some sporadic there we go they're a little spread out but i think they'll be just fine let's move the mg teams up here and get that kind of a little more backup uh i don't have engin any engineering teams that makes me a little sad won't lie about that one <clears throat> All right, let's put this dude behind this truck. Where's this MG? This MG will be put here. And it's kind of like a frontal. And I'll move this dude here. Just kind of get him spread out. Just a little bit. All right, kind of maximize that over there. Crossfire. Uh, do I want to move this dude closer? I don't really want to move him closer. Um, I think they're fine there. Um, we're mowing down a lot. Let me remove. Oh, never mind. We won. Never mind. Um, we literally got zero deaths. That is fantastic. We killed 59. 14 were killed by the uh, AI defenders. 45 by us. I say that is an excellent win right there. Perfect. Genius. 10 out of 10. We got some decent ammo from it. Ammunition back. Uh, and six research. That will be very helpful very helpful let's go ahead and resupply 
Uh, tech tree, tech tree. What do we want? I say we go ahead and get an ammo truck because we will need it. Let's upgrade our dingo. And let's get a mortar team. That's what I think we should get. Now, let's go ahead and get an ammo truck. And then the bigger dingo. I will dismiss this one. Gives a little more points back. So let's go ahead and get the dingo in here. And let's send the ammo truck in the third one. With the rest of our points, I shouldn't buy anything. I shouldn't. However, I'm debating if I want another MG Trump team or I kind of want uh, some of these guys. Because they are nice. And they do have the... Uh, I think this is the... Not the G36. Because this is a G36C. Or kind of like a variant of it. Uh, G36A3. Yeah, that's right. And this would be the G3A3. Okay. Oh, I was kind of right. This is the G3 still. And they have scopes. So let's go ahead and recruit one of them. And let's shove them in with the weasel. It won't make it more expensive. But at least now we have an ammo truck to resupply. We have a better dingo to support with a heavier gun and we have an extra uh, extra squad or division I think that's pretty good uh, I think we will go ahead and advance uh, I need ammunition that gives a lot though that gives us more points which I couldn't get a mortar team from I could You know what? I'll save it for the next video. I want to keep these videos kind of small, kind of short, non-lengthy, like most of my other videos. So, in the next in the next time, we will attack Russia. This will be our first time attacking Russia. On Monastery. I hate this map. It's very hard to defend that center point right there. And I'll show it in the next video. But, oh, Lord. Out of all the maps we had to get, that's the one we had to get. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. See you.